Time for tea, fathers. Mrs Doyle, does anything strike you as important about July the 19th? It doesn't matter what day it is, father. There's always time for a nice cup of tea. <laughs> sure didn't our Lord himself on the cross pause for a nice cup of tea before giving himself up for the world? No, he didn't, Mrs Doyle. Well, whatever equivalent they had for tea in those days. Cake or whatever. <laughs> and speaking of cake, I have cake. I'm fine for cake, Mrs Doyle. Are you sure, Father? <laughs> There's cocaine in it. There's what? Oh, no, not cocaine. What am I on about? <laughs> no, I meant, um, what you call them? Raisins. Oh. <laughs> Who's for tea? Uh, me, please, Mrs Doyle. Tea! Thick! <laughs> I'm fine, Mrs Doyle. You won't have a cup. Ah, uh, no, thanks, Mrs Doyle. Honestly, I won't have a cup. Are you sure now it's hot? Uh, no, I'm not in the mood, thanks. <laughs> All right, so... I go on, would you not have a drop? No, thanks Just anyway, Mrs Doyle. Cup. I'm fine. Uh, no, really. I'll tell you what, Father. I'll pour Seriously. a cup for you anyway. Seriously. Ah! And you can have it if you want. Now... And what do you say to a cup? Take off, cup! <laughs> Oh, God, oh, Mrs. Doyle. What are you doing up? Oh, I always stay up, Father, in case one of you needs a cup of tea. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Oh, about three years now. <laughs> but we never get up at night, Mrs. Doyle. Well, you're up now, aren't you, Father? Unless I'm hallucinating from lack of sleep. <laughs> That's happened before, all right. <laughs> I'm just getting my jacket to, to go for a little walk. Right, so... housekeeper isn't the best, I'm afraid. Sometimes I think that it's me that should be making the tea for her. <laughs> Mrs Doyle. <laughs> Mrs Doyle. Making the tea for her. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, no, thanks. No, I have a kind of allergic reaction to it, you know. It's very rare, but pretty serious. If I drink tea, there's a 70% chance I'll die. Well, I'll make you a cup anyway. <laughs> In case you change your mind. <laughs> no. Uh... Oh, isn't this grand? I'm fine, thank you, Mrs Doyle. Will you not have a cup of tea, Bishop Lennon? No, I am not going to stay. I want to get right to the point and get the hell out of here. Are you sure you won't have a cup? I am certain, thank you. Go on, have a cup. No, thank you. Now, I... look at everybody else is having a cup. Would you not have one yourself? I do not have the time. You'll now, feel pretty... left out. You'll be Bishop Piggy in the middle. I'm fine. I am fine. Are you sure you won't have a cup? Just a drop. No! Bishop Piggy in the middle. <laughs> cup of tea, fathers. No, thanks, Mrs Doyle. What do you think of her? Yeah, right. Nice. Are you sure you won't have a cup? It's a prize in our big raffle. Right, just the drop in your hand, then. Go on inside, Mrs Doyle. I'll take the tray. All right, Father. I'll put the kettle on in case you want some more once you get in. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> no, we'd rather die of thirst. OK, so? <clears throat> Mrs Doyle, um, I think Father Jessup was being a bit uh, sarcastic. What? Why are you being sarcastic, Father Jessup? No, we want to die of thirst. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, I know it's a bit confusing, but just do the opposite of what Father Jessup says. OK. So, you really do want a cup of tea? <clears throat> yes. 